Habibi and Anan. Habibi and Anan is a 2012 Indonesian biographical drama film produced by Manoj Punjabi and Damu Punjabi of MD Pictures, starring Riza Rahadian, Banga Sitra Lestari, and Tio Pakusuduo. The film is based on the memoir written by the third president of the Republic of Indonesia, B.J. Habibi, about his wife, Hasri Anan Habibi, also named Habibi and Anan. The film, released on 20 December 2012, drew the largest theatrical audience to date in Indonesian cinema history with 4.7 million viewers. It also became MD Pictures' highest grossing film produced to date. The film was followed by a prequel, Ruddy Habibi in 2016, with Rahadian reprising his role. Plot In 1953, at her school in Bandung, Hasri Aden Basari is matched with Bacharad and Jusuf Ruddy Habibi for their intelligence infatuating Ruddy. In 1962, when accompanying his brother on an appointment, he meets Anan, now a physician. They start showing love towards each other. Ruddy reveals to Anan that after going back to Aachen, he will return to Indonesia to build his beloved country. He proposes her to be his wife, unable to promise luxury, but promises eternal love. She accepts weds and flies to Aachen. While Ruddy works at a train company, Anan is pregnant. The couple moved to Hamburg after the birth of their son, Ilham Akbar Habibi. After Ruddy receives a doctor of engineering, he sends a letter seeking permit to create an aircraft to the Indonesian Aircraft Industry Commando, but they are not ready to accept. Anan cheers him up by revealing a second baby, Ferk Kemal Habibi. Anan is revealed to have ovarian cancer. Nostalgic to the hospital environment, she reprises her role as a physician. Ivnu Sutowo supports Ruddy on his aspirations, and he flies to Jakarta, where he has organized a team. At the same time, he also becomes a minister. His blueprint of Ipton N-250 is approved by President Suharto, and manufacturing soon begins. A businessman trades him wealth to be involved in the project, but Ruddy rejects. Local press deem the project abnormal, but is astounded seeing its maiden flight on 10 August, 1995. The people of Indonesia also cheers at the takeoff via live broadcast. Anan asks him to retire and take on a honeymoon together, but is delayed when he takes oath to be the vice president. As one, Ruddy focuses more on his job and has a worrying sleep duration. Following the Rupiah plummet, as well as the May 1998 riots, Suharto resigns, and Ruddy becomes president. Ruddy orders for a wipeout of the New Order scars, but is criticized, and he is accused of corruption. Anan is told that his cancer is worsening. She tells the nurse to not reveal this to Ruddy. A year after serving, Ruddy realized that his presidency only burdens himself and declares resignation. Following that, he revisits the N-250, now abandoned because of financial shortcomings, exacerbated with the public's apathy in the potential it might bring. They later go on the honeymoon. Reddy discovers that Anan's cancer reached stage Roman IV, prompting him to fly with his family to Munich, where Anan will be hospitalized at the Universität's Klinikum Gross Hadern. Although surgery is successful, the cells have divided and spread. Ruddy still believes Anum will be cured. Numerous surgeries are implemented, but the doctor says that cure is unguaranteed. With hope worthless, Anum's friends suggest that her funeral be organized. Ruddy opposes that idea as it nears their marriage's 48th anniversary. Though Ruddy remains firm on Anum's discharge, she dies on 22 May 2010. He revisits Anum's home where he can still feel her spirit. As a video of Habibi visiting Anan's grave plays, he narrates that he will forever cherish his memories with his Sakina love. Cast On the Citra Lestari as Hasri Anan Habibi, Riza Rahadian as B.J. Habibi, Marsha Natika as Young Anan, Essa Sijit as Young Habibi, Mike Lukak as Ilham Akbar Habibi, Christopher Nelwyn as Therk Kemal Habibi, Ratner Ryan Shirno as R.A. Tutti Marini Paspowidojo, Theo 
Pacusiduo is Suharto. Release. This film was launched on 20 December 2012, with its first screenings attended by then-President of Republic of Indonesia Suzalo Bambang Yudhoyono along with then-Governor of Jakarta, Joko Widodo as well as Habibie himself.